<laughs> Who's a guy that you played against one time? Because you're a large dude, you're a strong dude. Give us a name of a guy you played against, and you're like, man, I can't believe how strong this dude is. I, it's only one person that I've ever went against that I was like, man, this guy is unbeatable. Uh, it's a guy named Larry Allen. And I got him when he was, quote unquote, old Larry Allen. But this guy was a brick wall. And he, you know, he knew it and he, he, and he let you know it. So it was kind of like, well, I'm trying to switch sides with people all game, trying not to go, go that side. <laughs> Give us the story. How did he let you know it? Because I don't think of Larry Allen as a talker. I think of him as someone who dominates. But how did he let you know it? Well, I, I did my research on Larry. And more importantly than how he let me know it, you know, it, Young Larry Allen would go up to the line of scrimmage and go whoop whoop, and he would literally let the D tackle know that <laughs> Emmett Smith and Moose Johnson is going to be running through this hole right here. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so just imagine you, just imagine you as an NFL D lineman, knowing where the play is, you telling all your buddies, yeah, they're going to run right here. And Emmett Smith, obviously, it's a reason why he he has the most rushing yards in the in the history of the NFL because he probably got 10, 15, maybe 20 yards on that play when you know the play was coming right there. How does wait, that make you minute. feel going back to the huddle? Wait a minute. You're telling us that Larry Allen yes. would announce to you with a fake train whistle yes. that he was coming straight to where you were going and then yes. <laughs> well, nothing you can do about it. What you going to do about it? That guy used to lift like 700 pounds. <laughs> It would be like me playing football against my son. Like, <laughs> like Jace, I'm going to run the ball right here. You can, be, you can be here when I get here if you want to be. But, yeah, so that guy, yeah, that's, that's, a special, that's a special breed. I mean, I understand you said you try to switch sides when you can, but you can't sometimes, so you know you can't sure. beat them. What do you, I mean, what do you do? Like, I mean, I don't, I know that seems like a silly question, but you, you have to at least pretend to try hard. You give, you give your best. You might run around them on a play. You might say, well, coach, I thought, I thought they were going to run the ball, you know, away from me, so I tried to use my speed or just make them sit there or something. Tell them that the grass was slick and I slipped or, you know, and then they're going to come back and say, well, you slipped like 18 times in this game, then. Like, you know, how do you, how do you, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. And how obviously a lot of other people didn't know either because, you know, Larry Allen won a lot of those battles. How many times did he hit you with the train whistle? How, how, give me the number See, of times I, that he I got him, I got him older in his career. So he, now he was like, he was just, I, I think a few times he actually helped me up because he felt bad. <laughs> you know, Larry be like, yo, yo, get up, young blood. You know, just, you know. I, at, at this time, at this point in his career, I think he just, you know, he didn't even get any glorification because he had did it for so long. It was just like, well, this is what I'm expected to do. I'm going to go do this and, and move on. Yeah, stop being a trade whistle and just start to be like a truck horn. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just, yeah. It was still very loud, though. It was still very loud. <laughs> And you don't say to him, Justin, like, knock that off, please, Larry, or you don't want to get him angry. Like, I mean, exactly. can you please? Like, if, if, if I got a play where it was like a stalemate or something like that, then I would be like, that's a win, you know what I'm saying? Or if I only got knocked off like two, two yards, if I made the tackle for five yards, you know, <laughs> that's a win for me in that. <laughs> you, know, you, look over, you look over the sideline and you see people like, you know, straight hand and the coach, and they're like, like, yeah, good job. And like, man, this guy just got five, seven yards. You're telling me good job. You know, he didn't score. You're still alive. You're living. So, you know, it's tremendous. I appreciate y'all bringing up these old memories, too, man. Appreciate it, man. I'm a, I ain't going to sleep well tonight. <laughs>